Keeping your board and your schematic simultaneously open at all times will always avoid running into consistency issues between your board and schematic. But if you do, there's some ways we could go about it to fix it. In this case, we're going to have a value mismatch between our board and our schematic. As you can see, the lightning bolt in the bottom right hand corner of my editor has gone from green to red, letting me know that I have consistency issues. When you notice this, it's best if you stop doing any further editing and let's find out what's going on. I'll go ahead and run ERC, which can be from the pull down menu, or you just click on the icon on the left hand toolbar. As you notice, it picks up immediately that I do have a consistent problem. So let's find out why. It appears that I have components in the schematic that have a particular value, but on the board layout, they have a totally different value. As you can see here, I have 12 picofarads for C11, while here I have 8 picofarads. And for C4, I have 100, but for some reason on the board layout, comes up as 10 nanofarads. What I'm going to do is I want to match the values that I have assigned on the schematic over to the board layout. Since we only have a few errors, it would be easily done manually. But if you have a long list of value issues, there's another way we could do about it, and it's quite automatic. First thing I'm going to do is click on the ULP icon. ULP is a great tool. It expands the utilities and the capabilities of Eagle immensely by us as well as by our community. I'm going to find a ULP make value consistent. This is going to basically extract the values from my schematic, create a script file, which then I will be able to read it into my board. Click open. The ULP start running. The first thing it does, it runs ERC to create its own report. Click OK. Based on the report that got created, it's going to build. It's just letting me know that it's created the script file and it's about to run it. The script file is basically stating that it's going to change the values of these components because there was a mismatch between the board and the schematic. I'm going to go ahead OK. Now, I could manually change this if I wanted to, but since I want board and schematic to be consistent, I will not. After running the script, it runs ERC automatically letting me know that I've recovered consistency, as you can see. In addition to this check, you'll notice that your lightning bolts on the bottom right-hand corner of your editors have gone from red to green. Thank you for joining us, and have a great day.